So here's a quick look at the Pixel's new repair mode feature that is available in the December 2023 Pixel feature drop update. Let's say you drop your phone on the table and crack its screen or whatever, and you want to send or take your phone in for repair. Handing your phone over to a stranger with all your personal data on it can be a scary endeavor, so you're typically advised to back up your data beforehand and then factory reset it before sending it in. Factory resetting it can be a bit of a hassle, which is why repair mode is being introduced. So those of you with Samsung phones might be familiar with a feature called maintenance mode. Google's repair mode effectively does the same thing, but it works quite a bit differently under the hood. Repair mode uses Android's dynamic system updates feature, but instead of booting from a new system image, repair mode uses the existing installation, but swaps out the main data partition with a freshly created one, basically simulating a factory reset. So then the OS in conjunction with the new repair mode app locks the technician into repair mode so they can install and test whatever they want but only you the original owner who knows the pin password pattern or whatever to the original installation can exit repair mode okay so let's actually do a quick demo now to access repair mode i'm going to go to settings then system then repair mode and as you can see from the description here you need at least two gigabytes of storage in order for repair mode to work and that any changes that are made in repair mode, such as downloaded data or settings changes will not be saved. Now let's ex actually enter repair mode. And to do so, I have to enter my pin. And this is important because entering and exiting repair mode requires using the original pin password or pattern to the, the main profile. So you can't just, anyone can't just enter repair mode on your device and anyone can't just exit repair mode until you actually do so yourself. And once I boot up, you'll note that there's no setup wizard. Even though it's simulating a factory reset, it's not exactly like a factory reset because your original data is still in its, its own image. And there's no setup wizard because this is not being sent in for a new user to set up a device this is just being sent in for a technician to take a quick look, test some apps out, run some diagnostic tests. And yeah, so as you can see, I'm booted immediately into the home screen and I have a notification that says your device is in repair mode. It's worth noting that even if the technician at this point were to reset, reboot the device or power off the device and power it back on, it would still be locked into repair mode. You can only exit repair mode manually by going to settings or tapping on this notification. But before I do that, let me just show you a couple of changes that are noticeably different. So as you can see, that Capital One app I installed is no longer there. The messaging app is no longer there. So this prevents the technician or whatever from making messages, from inserting their own SIM card or using your SIM card or whatever profile you have. And there's also a new Pixel Diagnostics app that is installed whenever you enter repair mode. And this app is intended for use by Google's authorized repair vendors. If you are not an authorized repair vendor, please use the diagnostic tools available after exiting repair mode. I am not a authorized repair vendor, so I really cannot do anything more here. And sorry, it's kind of hard to see on the camera right now, but I'm going to exit that. And you know, if I were to just open app and like copy some files or whatever, all that would only be saved to this profile and then all would be deleted after I exit. Let's take a quick look at this notification. It says your device is in repair mode. And once you're done being repaired, you can exit and your device will return to normal. So let me try actually rebooting and just showing you what happens quick. Okay. And I rebooted and my device is still in repair mode. I am not back to the original profile. My data is still not accessible. In order to exit repair mode, I have to actually go to the notification here and tap on exit repair mode or go to repair mode in settings, and then exit manually. And once I want to exit, I have to enter the pin. So the technician can't exit, and any random stranger can't exit. Only you can exit and return back to your original installation. So I'm going to do that here. And then when I reboot, I should see my original home screen that you saw at the beginning of the video where Capital One was there, and like my Google account was signed into and everything. So. Hopefully this should be the case. And, you know, hopefully you don't really have to use this feature. If you do, hopefully it gives you some peace of mind when you're sending your device in for repair. I know factory resetting and setting up a new device can be really annoying. I've had to do that so many times. So I don't envy anyone who has to do that.
especially with the stress of getting your device repaired. Okay. And as you can see, everything is intact. I didn't have to factory reset, backup, or anything. Although it's always a good idea to backup anyways. So that's a first look at the new repair mode feature. If you have a Samsung device, as I said before, you have your own version of this feature called maintenance mode. Works a little bit differently, but it basically does the same thing. Pixel users are getting this with the December 2023 Pixel Feature Drop Update, which also brings Android 14 QPR1. And that update also brings other features like the webcam functionality, which I've talked about before on Android Central and other articles. If you want to find out what's new and what's coming in Android 14 QPR2, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Mastodon, Threads, and Telegram at Michelle Ramon.